The eyes of many insects, including the fruit fly, are covered by a thin and transparent coating made up of tiny protuberances with anti-reflective, anti-adhesive properties. An article published in the journal Nature reveals the secrets of how this nano-coating is made. The authors, from the University of Geneva UNIGE, and University of Lausanne UNIL, together with ETH Zurich ETHZ, show that the coating only consists of two ingredients, a protein called retinin and corneal wax. These two components automatically generate the regular network of protuberances by playing the roles of activator and inhibitor, respectively, in a morphogenesis process modeled in the 1950s by Alan Turing. The multidisciplinary team even succeeded in artificially reproducing the phenomenon by mixing retinin and wax on different kinds of surface. This process, which is very inexpensive and is based on biodegradable materials, was used to obtain nano-coatings with a morphology similar to that of insects, with anti-adhesive and anti-reflective functionalities that could have numerous applications in areas as diverse as contact lenses, medica. The nano-coating that covers the surface of the eyes of some insects was discovered in the late 1960s in moths, begins Vladimir Katanayev, a professor in the Department of Cell Physiology and Metabolism in UNIGE's Faculty of Medicine and the study's lead investigator. It's made up of a dense network of small protrusions about 200 nanometers in diameter and several dozens of nanometers in height. It has the effect of reducing light reflection. The cornea of an insect without a coating typically reflects about 4% of the incident light, whereas the proportion drops to zero in insects that do have the covering. Although an improvement of 4% may seem small, it is enough of an advantage, especially in dark conditions, to have been selected during evolution. Thanks to its anti-adhesive properties, the coating also provides physical protection against the tiniest dust particles in the air. Professor Katanayev moved into this research field 10 years ago. In 2011, he and his team were the first to discover the nano-coating on the eyes of fruit flies Drosophila melanogaster. This insect is much more suited to scientific research than moths, in particular because its genome has been completely sequenced. Alan Turing, guiding light based on their preliminary results, in 2015 Professor Katanayev and his colleagues suggested that the nano-coating resulted from a morphogenesis mechanism that the British mathematician Alan Turing had modelled in the 1950s. This model holds that two molecules are organised automatically to produce patterns in regular patches or strips. The first serves as an activator, starting a process where a special pattern emerges and self-amplifies. But it also stimulates the second molecule at the same time, which acts as an inhibitor and is diffused more quickly. This model has made it possible to explain natural phenomena on a macroscopic scale, such as the spots on a leopard or the stripes on a zebra, and on a microscopic scale but never yet on the nanoscopic scale. The Geneva-based researcher has now gathered more evidence to support this hypothesis. Thanks to biochemical analyses and the use of genetic engineering, Professor Katanayev and his colleagues have succeeded in identifying the two components involved in the reaction diffusion model developed by Turing. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.